Hey guys, it's Fancy. So today I'm starting out by doing the nail bed color. I'm doing it in the color pink and I'm doing it pretty thick because I'm going to let all four nails cure and then come back and file it into a perfect smile line. So like I said, after it's fully cured, I come in and I'm going to file it until it's nice and crisp so that when I lay down the color on the tip, it makes a perfect shaped smile line. So now I'm going in with the tip color and it's a glitter mix I made with several different kinds of glitters and crushed shell and, and things like that, just kind of hodgepodge of different colors. And I'm not really sure what shape nail this is. I've done a video with this shape before. I don't really know what to call it, um, but that's the shape I'm doing. This is actually a set I used to do on myself all the time when I was in nail school. Um, I really, really liked it, and so I thought, why not do a video on it? And once that's all put on, then I am going to cap it and clear. It doesn't matter if it's super pretty along the smile line because I'm going to drill through that area anyways. That's why I did the nail bed color really, really thick um, so that when I file through, that crisp line really shows. And this is after it's already done, and I'm going in with some top coat, a gel top coat, and I'm not curing it yet. And I'm adding in these diamond sequins that I've had for a while in this nice like Caribbean blue color. And I'm doing it on each nail differently, kind of like it's like scales, I'm not really sure, um, but I want it to look really organic and, and nice. So after I fully cure that, I then go in with another coat of gel top coat to put on top of it to hold those sequins in place. And this is the finished product. If you like these, feel free to subscribe, maybe leave a comment or a like on the video. It really helps me out. And until next time, stay fancy.